Welcome to my final project. Uh, my project is on AWS Virtual Private Cloud. Uh, my name is Mushta Kamet. Uh, so before I'm going detail of my uh, final project, I would like to give some business scenarios where my solution can be used. As you might know, like cloud is the current reality to cost, cut cost, improve efficiency, manage agility, and finding solution beyond the resource constraints. A startup business made success by making their services available to the world without investing on infrastructure. Three business scenarios are demonstrated in my project, which are related to for those companies who are uh, who have already uh, invested or looking for a private isolated section in the cloud that can be accessible only by them. The secondly, those companies who have invested on their data centers and they want to leverage their current infrastructure so that uh, uh, if they have like additional uh, load on their servers they can forward those loads to the cloud or companies are hesitant to keep their data in the cloud because of re recent revelations and uh, they want to actually keep their data inside their uh, private uh, private owned da data warehouses or databases and expose maybe website or web loads in the on the web, and that lastly, companies. Uh, well, I found some companies might be interested to have a common shared services for all the branches, so they can keep some data in the on the cloud and then make different VPC connections from the different branch offices, and then they can actually work from one single shared services. So my VPC services with side to side VPN can provide answer to all of those above issues or BP, uh, business scenarios. Let's look at our first business scenarios where the provision of private isolated section in the in the cloud. So I actually prepared a VPC connection uh, that is connecting to one of my office using Cisco ASA 5505. In VPC connection I uh, it is it allows to a private VPC subnet network which is like 192.168.100. something and my VPC connection can connect to my locally hosted ASA 5505 based network and in my locally hosted network I segmented the network for server uh, server villain or server server subnet which is 172.16.10.0 stroke 24 and for the client for 172.16.5.0 stroke 24. So provision of private and isolated section in the cloud, I actually mm, considered like a small business or corporate that has, or, uh, that has a uh, network that, as I discussed, like one for the client and one for the server. And uh, I'll demonstrate like how Cisco site-to-site -site VPN connection with AWS VPC services can provide that uh, private isolation section. Uh, in this de uh, demonstration, I use technologies like AWS VPC services, the Cisco uh, ASA router, and um, a switch that has a segment of the two VLAN, and a router that routes packets from LAN to the ASA one wireless access point connecting to the laptop, like this laptop where I'm actually preparing this presentation is connected to that wireless access point. The second example, which is leveraging existing infrastructure, so I made similar type of network, which has like a AWS uh, VPC connections with a ASA Cisco based uh, uh, firewall side to side connections. And I also allowed one, one server which has both local and public IPs, and then public IP can be accessible from public internet. So I prepared a one word customer database, which can be accessible by the public internet, but that customer uh, database is actually hosted in the local MS SQL server on 172.16.10.5. And when the, when the public internet uh, browser browses, it goes to the Amazon Web Services and then connects back to um, VPC connection, VPC connection to tunnel to Cisco ASA and comes to database server. In here also I used like um, two subnet in AWS, one is like 
192.168.100.0 stroke 24 for the local LAN and I have uh, assigned a public IP to to a interface of my server with a public DNS and uh, private IP of the web server can link to the MSS school server which is locally hosted not in the cloud and to do this thing I use the same uh, AWS VPC service in the cloud Cisco ASA 5505, a switch uh, segment of VLAN and a router to, to routes packet to, from LAN to the ASA, then ASA to the VPC, VPC to the ultimate um, uh, client. The third example which I was trying to explain, like I have two sites, one is site A and site B, and I have two ASA 5505, and one got like two uh, subnets uh, is splitted by the uh, villain and the and router routes the forward another side is uh, uh, I got like only one subnet so I I placed uh, um, Amazon web services some web server which can only allowed by the private isolated services but that private isolated services can be accessed from two different offices so I, I established one site to site uh, VPN with uh, my one office and another is another office and I, I can actually ping both the offices and also I can access sites and services from both the offices at the same time. So even if one office is down, the services are centrally located, then other offices can access those services. So the, that allows uh, to have like common shared central services for that can be used by among the offices. So for the central shared services, I use also um, also the same type of technology, and uh, I actually prepared one telephone diary, a, a small small uh, ASP.NET application and host it in a, in, a, um, in a server and which can be accessible from two of my offices at the same time. So for this uh, demo I use uh, technology uh, one is uh, uh, like, uh, like AS, uh, AWS VPC services in the cloud that is common and two Cisco ASA 5505 firewalls switch segment for VLAN in one office and routers for um, uh, routing the packets. So let's come to the demonstration. Uh, before we go detail about demonstration, we have to, first of all, we need to do Amazon Web Services VPC configuration. On the VPC configuration, you can do, uh, there are two options available. You can see my dashboard right now. Like I have three VPCs, five subnets, three network SEL, two customer gateways, and uh, all those details. And on the bottom, you can see my current uh, status of my customer gateways and how they are connecting to the VPN connections. So there are two options to do. One is like trying to use the start uh, VPC wizard and another is doing it manually. I'll be showing both, both the options. So if you use the VPC wizard, you'll find one is like VPC with a single public subnet that you can do. And second option, is VPC with the public and private subnet, the mix of the public and private. And third one is the public and private mix, but with a hardware VPN access. And fourth one is VPC with a private subnet only and hardware VPN access. I used uh, the fourth one to have like private isolated cloud, but third one can also do like what I did on the fourth one. But third one gives you some option if you want to have like public access to your server. Uh, because I did a, a very difficult way which is like I created a, an interface on a server and provided IP address I changed the routing and that's the way I made like public to go into pri pri private to go into public it's a single public subnet only where you can set your public uh, subnet and internet gateway this is the most common uh, VPC services that you whenever we want to create a uh, EC2 services, we use mostly this one. It's nothing uh, fancy on it, and uh, you can work on it if you only want your uh, public subnet only. The second one is got like both public and private, and got also like netting net instances. 
and this is also uh, uh, this one doesn't have the uh, BPC uh, with uh, with hardware uh, firewall or the tunneling so uh, this this is also not part of my exercise but this this can be done and uh, this, this can give some some sort of uh, benefit like for a third one which is like you need to define your uh, your routing which is uh, uh, your public IP address, uh, uh, public IP address of your VPN router, or uh, in this case, this is uh, the IP address of my ASA 5505 firewall, and you have to also provide a static routing of your of your uh, subnets. Those are behind that firewall. So if you do not provide the uh, private IP addresses and use like dynamic routing, then it will require BGP. And you may not find the configuration downloaded av downloads available for ASA 55, which will only give you Cisco I iOS. So please make sure that you provide like private um, subnets uh, in order to do the demonstration or the private and isolated cloud. That is my objective of this this demonstration. So once you select this, you can select like pri pub uh, private IP CIDR block. And then you can have like two subnets if you want. I just kept uh, subnets uh, pretty large and I subdivided into uh, smaller subnets that you can do. And if you want to do the netting, you can do the netting. And you can finally create a VPC. On the fourth one, which is like you do as like third one, and only when you have like BPC, you don't have netting or any other options, and you have to provide like one subnet or or like one subnet that will be uh, that will be available for sharing from your local uh, network to uh, cloud network. So once you have uh, done that one by creating the uh, wizard, that uh, it will. After some time, everything will load up. But please have patience; it may take like three, four minutes sometime to create all those uh, uh, subnets and uh, gateways, internet gateways, and the VPN connections. So it takes some time. So you need to have patience. So now, if you want to create VPC without wizard, then you go to your VPCs, then create one VPC. I have like three VPCs list is available here. Then you you need to create subnet on that VPC. So after doing uh, create subnet, then you can actually set a uh, routing. In this case, I created a separate uh, internet gateways and then I, I created a, like any traffic to go through that uh, gateways so that uh, if I want to up update my servers or if I want to allow my external users to access my privately located uh, subnets that I can do using that. And uh, that is the routing table. You need to do it manually, routing table. And then you need to do like uh, internet gateways. So there is one gateway which come up like directly, like as a default gateway for my my default uh, 172 uh, series. That is a public IP VPC series. And then I created one for my public private VPC services. You can set some DSCP options, but um, you can also get some elastic IPs if you want. But uh, for my demonstration, I just went directly to network ACL. On the network ACL, please note this network ACL. You can define the ACL such a way that can uh, control the traffic to your lo local subnet. So I created like most of the thing. I kept it open because I don't have the specific requirement of specific server to to transact to specific services or specific server to specific um, uh, specific network. So I just made everything open. And then finally, the security group. The security groups are different than the EC2 services security group. These security groups are related to specific VPC. And then you need to provide like uh, a, a, a security group. And uh, I allowed most of the sudden all ports open to my client network. And then port 80 open to most of the all the all 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 of my connected connected networks. Once I have done the uh, security group, then I created a customer gateway. 